Welcome to Google Cloud Drawing Board, where we doodle our way through the cloud. Today's topic, what is cloud operations? This video is divided into chapters. Watch the full video or skip ahead to any section of your choice. You know the time when you want to see how your cloud deployment is behaving or if something's broken in production and your users might be impacted? You are scrambling because there are too many tools to look through to find and resolve the issue. That's where cloud operations comes in. It's a suite of products to monitor, troubleshoot, and operate your services at scale, enabling your DevOps, SREs, or IT operations teams to utilize the Google's SRE best practices. It offers integrated capabilities for monitoring, logging, and advanced observability services like Trace, Debugger, and Profiler. The end-to-end -end operations suite includes capturing signals, monitoring systems, managing incidents, troubleshooting issues with built-in telemetry, out-of-the-box dashboards, recommendations, and more. So let's see how does cloud operations work. First, cloud logging, which is a fully managed and highly scalable service that aggregates log data from all your infrastructure and applications into a single location. It collects the log data from Google Cloud Services automatically, and you can feed custom logs through Cloud Logging Agent, Open Source FluentD, or the API. It gives you complete control to decide how and where to store these logs, including keeping them in cloud logging, exporting to cloud storage for archival, BigQuery for analytics, or streaming them via Cloud PubSub to a third-party destination. Log Viewer gives you powerful capabilities to filter the logs, convert them to log-based metrics for monitoring, alerting, analyzing, and visualizing. Cloud Monitoring provides observability across your apps and infrastructure regardless of where it is – Google Cloud, on-prem, or in other clouds. It supports a variety of metrics integrations and allows you to define custom metrics unique to your use case and even send those metrics to external systems. Using the Metrics Explorer and Monitoring Query Language, you can analyze these metrics on the fly, identifying correlations, and easily add the corresponding charts to a dashboard. You can use out-of-the-box or custom-built dashboards to get a consolidated view of the health of your infrastructure, service, or application, and easily spot anomalies. But we know that you cannot sit around all day looking at dashboards. So cloud monitoring provides alerting, where you can create policies to alert on performance metrics, uptime checks, and service level indicators. Now, let's focus our attention on advanced observability feature, Trace. Trace provides visualization and analysis to understand request flow, service topology, and latency issues in your app. Debugger allows you to inspect the state of running applications after deployment without needing to stop or slow it down. Profiler continuously analyzes your code's performance on each service so that you can improve its speed and reduce your cost. And it is designed to run in production with effectively no performance impact. While Trace is used to track relationships and latency between services, Profiler tracks this across the individual functions in your code base, and Debugger helps find the root cause from method to the specific problematic piece of code. Now, you can use the Cloud Console or the API to use Cloud Operations tools. All these tools offer a very generous free tier to make it easy for you to get started. From the security perspective, all your data is encrypted at rest and in transit. Your security-focused audit logs are automatically available in cloud logging, telling you who did what, where, and when. And with access transparency, you can always stay in compliance because it captures the actions Google personnel takes while offering you support. I bet that keeping your applications up and running and making sure your customers are happy is your number one priority and cloud operations helps you do just that. By using service level objectives that work across all application types and cloud environments or using error reporting to identify bugs in your applications, cloud operations provides your ops teams with the out-of-the-box observability to monitor your infrastructure and your applications. Want to get started? Check out the free trial.